thing. It's reading 211 volts, 99.7 watts, 0.47 amps. And now I'm going to go to 50%. So now the light is only on at 50%. You can see it's a bit dimmer. Half the power, 153 volts. 153 volts, 0.39 amps, and 60 watts. I'll go 25% now. So that's 25%. You can see the light is only on at 25%. So that's 25% there. And as you can see on the voltage gauge is 71 volts, 18.4 watts, and it's 0.26 amps that's going to the, the, the globe. So in that way you can regulate your temperature, you can also manually up the power here and every time I go up you can see the light is going up. I just got to turn it back on again. It also maintains the temperature, so whatever temperature you set it at, it will stay at that temperature. I mean, the, the amount of power that you send to the elements. So you can set it at 1% and it will just stay there. So that's how that works. Then I'll plug this one out. And Plug it in on the other one, so just bear with me. Plug it in. And as you can see, this is the same gauge, different gauge. So currently it's reading the temperature. I don't know if you can see that. It's 32 degrees. 125.7 watts, 247 volts, and it's starting uh, 0.51 amps, and it's got a timer on it as well, and a power factor. That's the same gauge I showed you earlier. So uh, currently it's set at 100%. I can drop it down to 99%. I don't know if you can read that. It's a bit light outside. So I can drop it down to 94% or whatever I like and that will decrease the power to the light so I'll, I'll push it all the way down as you can see the light is dimming. Okay, currently I've got it set on 70, looks like about 70% and you can up the power. So there I've got it back to 94% and it will run your uh, elements or your lights. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. Cheers.